Hey guys, it's the Scribbler, and <laughs> this is very random. I'm just gonna be showing you games, basically, that I own. I don't really know why, but I I want to start. Um, I'm gonna move away from my mic. It's gonna audio is gonna become a little bit crabby, but I want to start um, uploading more and. The only way I can do that is make this stuff <laughs> to short little videos that are very, very rushed. But uh, yeah, I need to get more games out of you. I'm not just counting Xbox. <laughs> the Wii games too. I just found my Resident Evil 2. <laughs> um, I I didn't even know where the case was for this. That's why I'm like, you know, doing that. But yeah, I got 60 frames on. <laughs> By the way, I never I forget to set that setting. <laughs> Nice and smooth. <laughs> that Lego, you know, you need that extra 60 frames for that Lego Marvel. I guess I'll just go through all, the, all like the Wii games. I got these before, like, you know, the Xbox stuff. We got the 360s. Actually, yeah, this game is actually pretty fun. The ending was, maybe it was just fun as a kid. I don't know if it was actually that good, but yeah, I remember it being a nice scribble knots. Hmm. <laughs> that looks familiar. I used to love this game so freaking much, just drawing, not drawing, but wait, don't you, don't you type in what you want? I think you type in what you, like you draw, but like you would just write the name of the thing and then like it pops into reality. This was inspiration for a lot of crap to be honest. <laughs> so, yeah, shout out to that game. Uh, honestly, this is kind of trash. I don't know. I didn't really have a good time with Lego Dimensions. I just didn't like all like the freaking expansions. It was... Like, oh, it's like upside down for me. Like, why? <laughs> why do I have to, like, it's, it's basically like just getting a bunch of like Lego sets, which they are really like pricey, but I already had to pay like 60 bucks for the game. And the only fun part about it was building the portal to like play the game, but like, it was just kind of boring. Okay, I don't know, like, the, I watched like the portal one on YouTube, like where they had like a portal one, which was kind of nice and cool, but it just seemed like a waste of money to me. Lego sets usually are, they just break. They're just nice to build. You should just, you should just make them and sell them again. I don't know, unless you like actually take care of them. <laughs> They're just kind of crappy. But yeah, I pretty much have every single Skylander game. Uh, yeah, here's here are five Skylander games. I don't have like Imaginators. The, these games are definitely better than Lego Dimensions in my opinion. But um, yeah, they're still kind of like the same thing. You have to like buy extra things, and they just as you get older, at least for me, they just don't seem really that. Just doesn't seem like it's worth my time anymore. Even though I mean, like I still. Uh, enjoyed playing them and I don't like I wouldn't like you know take it back I'm just saying like it, it was it, it was nice <laughs> while it lasted Fire's Adventure I'm <laughs> I have like pretty decent stories for like each of these I just don't want to make this too long the so Spire's Adventure which I don't even know why it's called that because barely Spire's just freaking chilling like Stealth Elf is silent but deadly crap I don't know He's like chilling in the middle, but <laughs> yeah, I th I'm pretty sure my stepdad got this hit. Th these come on like big boxes, but like Skylanders and like the portal that comes with it. So I think he got it in like a a deal. I don't even know. Like I I heard of this not even from like an ad or anything. The Skylanders franchise. It was just like my stepdad just brought it home <laughs> one day. He just brought the box home one day. I think got a deal like outside of Walmart on Black Friday or something. And I just randomly got it and I like have played it like almost every single game since then. <laughs> I raged so hard. Like I raged, so I was livid playing this freaking game first time. Kinda little and freaking Bowser Jr. and the lava levels. And Super Mario Galaxy, I did that too. <laughs> I was, I get so mad for some reason at those games. Uh, you, you all know Resident Evil 2, let's put that here. I was just trying to find that case. <laughs> yeah, enough about the extras here. Um, Skylanders Giants, obviously after playing the first one, I was pretty excited, cause this, wasn't even out yet. Like I actually lived through basically all of these. Like I was alive uh, 
probably before Skylanders 1 came out, and, um, <laughs> yeah, I, I was waiting for this to, like, release, and, uh, I think I got, like, a pre-order bag, uh, I probably still have that, I don't know why I'm freaking using so many filler sounds, so, uh, uh, oh, yeah, I'm, uh, Barack Obama, you know, you know, Ow. <laughs> Ooh. Hold up. I just found a Giants bag that I got for um, pre-ordering. I don't know why, but the pre-order literally only gave me this bag and not even like the game. Yeah, I remember getting this stone guy right here on like the cover. I got this guy before he even got the game, so I was kind of like playing with that guy a lot. <laughs> So I remember that guy mostly, but hey, it, it, the concept of these games are pretty cool. Like I, I liked like the glowing of like the giants and yeah, they have they have like you know different things. You can swap them, you can trap villains, you can have cars. Like it was you know set for success <laughs> with kids. Oh god, bro, what? I didn't even know. I, I didn't even know I had this crap. I don't even. I don't go in my closet that much, but. I really have an entire Wii console in there. Wow. The memories. In case you want some nostalgia. Got the Wii. You know? I don't remember how I had this. <laughs> I think it was like, I think I used to do this. I don't know. It's a little, it's, a little, it's outdated design, you know? <laughs> I don't know how to use that anymore. But. Yeah, Swap Force. This was, this took a while for me to complete. They had really long chapters in here, and I kind of remember this one, but I remember being kind of disappointed in like the ending because the boss battle was like scaringly <laughs> hard on here for some reason. Like, I don't know. I remember that being so hard in Spires Avenger, like the final battle of chaos, but this one was really easy, and I kind of was disappointed. As a kid, I was disappointed that it was too easy, <laughs> but. Yeah, um, Trap Team. In interesting story, actually, about this. And this had just turned into a freaking Skylanders review. <laughs> but yeah, um, interesting story with this. It was actually, I actually got this before the release date of Skylanders Trap Team. Like, I got, pretty sure, I, pretty sure my mom ordered the Wii U one. But they gave me this, the Wii version. And it was, like, four days before it even came out. Like, the actual game, like, released everybody. So, like, like what? They give me, like, scoundrels early to freaking play? Like, interesting day. <laughs> um, super tr There's nothing too important about this one. I remember being kind of... I thought this was, like, the final one. Because of, like, the whole darkness storyline they had going on in it. So it kind of, like, hit different. But uh, nothing too, too special, really. I didn't buy, like, anything for this one. <laughs> like, any other extra. I just played through it with, like, the starter pack, which was nice, actually. Didn't get to unlock too much crap, but... Yeah, still good little fun experience. This is my last. This was the last game I've ever played, though. So it kind of there's kind of a lot of sadness with this one. <laughs> yeah, those were all Skylander games. Um, God, this is already turning into a long video. I'm sorry. Maybe I can do a separate video for the Skylanders just so I can have extra content with this one. This like there's a lot of there's a lot to talk about really with that. That was just a little review for each, but wee wee games aside, time to get to the good crap. <laughs> or like, you know, pre-teen years. Uh, I definitely have more Xbox games than Wii games, but... Oh, actually, one more Wii game. It's right here. Wait, yeah, here it is. Sonic Unleashed. I have never been really a big, like, fan of Sonic, or... Like, I, I, I it's not like I don't like, like his games or like his character, but... I just never got his games. I think I never played his games or really watched anything with Sonic, so. Um, this is my first game with Sonic and I've never played any more with him in it. Except for like, maybe like the Olympics thing that they had with my friend one time. <laughs> yeah, this game is actually pretty cool. Like I like the music and you know, how you kind of punch with the controller. <laughs> I haven't beat this game yet, which it seems kind of hard too. It's kind of like um, Spyro's Adventure over there. <laughs> like the final battle. Yeah, that's the last one. Um, I also kind of like the 
God, this is Atlas too. Uh, I, someone someone commented about Atlas recently, and actually might play it again because I bought like um, that last Trinity, which is like the whistleblower Atlas one, and like I beat the games before, but I play it again on the channel just because it was a. It's a pretty. Uh, I like that game, and I've played it two times already just because I like it so much. And made uh, live action things. with cameras and stuff like i just i liked the idea of like you know how you were like recording the game and uh, i like, let my imagination run as a kid here are the games i don't know if i'll be able to finish this i have to do the part two of this stuff fallout 4 <laughs> so first this game i love this game so much <laughs> Like three years of entertainment with this. Pretty long game, and there's a lot of side missions and just missions in general in here and DLCs and stuff. I mean, it's gotten a little boring over the years and like repetitive, but it still is pretty nice to play. And I played it recently, which is why it's on like the top, and I played Call of Duty World War II just because it's my favorite one. <laughs> I just like the um, style of it, I guess. But yeah, there's also Grand Theft Auto 5. You got kind of wrecked. <laughs> I don't really know what happened to this, to be honest. Like the paper's coming off and I don't even know where the disc is anymore. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, there's nothing really too much to say about that. That game is really good too. And still waiting for that Grand Theft Auto. Um, yeah, I remember playing this with my uh, brother and it was very nice. Like, I don't, there's something really like comfortable and just soothing about like the beginning of this game where you like don't have too much. Just like being able to like explore such like a big world in it was like new to me as a kid. So yeah, that was cool. Just freaking smacked you in the face. Yeah, we already talked about that. Ooh, Bioshock. Uh, let's just get this out. Of this is the um, remastered and collection of all three games. As you can see, there's the depths of Rapture down here. And then there's the tower, then Bioshock and Infinity. Um, sky kind of thing going on. Nice little case. Um, do I even still have it in there? <laughs> yes, I do. Look at me saving my game. Okay, I was checking if there's two in there. <laughs> no. Yeah, uh, this is just like the remastered and the complete trilogy. As you can see, um, like most people, I think I loved Bioshock, <laughs> and I, I have a mini little series on Scribbler TV of it, Bioshock 2, but it, it it's it was just my brother playing, and we were just kind of making fun of each other the entire time. <laughs> so it was all right, but yeah, I I like Bioshock 1, 2, and Infinite. A lot of people didn't really like Infinite too much, but. Yeah, Bioshock, I remember this being like the first game I ever watched my brothers play. <laughs> it, it's just a special game for that reason to me. Uh, I don't know. I, I think I remember watching Bioshock 2 when it first came out and Bioshock Infinity because my brother got the collector's edition, I think, and I, he had like the giant bird statue. <laughs> and you know, you know, you know, I'd always just sneak in his room and, uh, you know, jack all the crap up, but it's just, it's just like pure like nostalgia and fun. Like, you know, all the plasmas and stuff. Um, my first real gaming experience, I guess. Just, like, I, I feel like this was like the first thing I remember <laughs> of a game. <laughs> so if that tells you anything. So yeah, nice. A little extra long thing for that. Ow. <laughs> the Walking Dead, like I said, the GOAT. <laughs> This is, this was my first, this is another one of my first games, not like my first, first game, but um, I remember this playing, playing it on my iPad. <laughs> my first like electronic device, just playing this game. The first episode is in uh, three years uh, ago, I think. I um, just binged it, because it was, it was really good. It was really nice just sitting down, all comfy wumpy and finishing this game. I don't think I came out of my freaking room when I was playing this. I remember like everyone being worried about me after I just died. <laughs> yeah, that was great. Um, this is kind of trash. I haven't finished that yet. I don't have anything to say. <laughs> my grass <crashed> started. <laughs>
Oh, we don't talk about that. Um, I actually enjoyed that game. This is my, my second Telltale game I've played. And it was decent. The story wasn't like, you know, amazing. Which is like typical hero, big villain, stupid villain creates a bigger villain, you know. But I enjoyed it. The hunt. And as a kid, obviously, you know, I, I, I freaking loved it. Just because, you know. Minecraft and all that. <laughs> I honestly don't even know why I even liked this game as a kid. <laughs> Titanfall. I mean, it was alright. It's one of those games that you, you kind of like forget about after a while. A year or so. <laughs> but yeah, I did like one episode of this on Scribbly TV one time and I just kind of left it there. It's decent. I met some friends on you know, Titanfall one, but I don't really remember it, having fun on it too much. Or remember it at all really i just i just liked the robot i guess i don't know resident evil <laughs> recording to like i said i you know i played the seventh one biohazard and it i remember this one the I remember really like spreading this out to all my friends. I literally played it with like Junior and you know Soccer Dad, <laughs> um, uh, Xavier. You know, remember that homeless guy. Uh, I remember introducing it to like both of them. I, I really liked it, um, and because I watched my brother play Resident Evil Four, so it wasn't like my first experience with it. But it was definitely kind of cool having this released, and it is a good game. I mean, it, it basically brought to life like every other remastered thing that you see now. <laughs> it's like the Unru the Resident Evil engine, like the RE engine thing they have now. And I was like, all like every single person in the family just like chasing you around <laughs> like the puzzle room. I think it was a pretty nice little window to the Resident Evil world, in my opinion. It's definitely different, but definitely didn't hurt the franchise at all. They got like crap busting out now every freaking year. You remastered and the eighth one is having Ethan in it. And you know, I, I obviously I'm into Resident Evil now. <laughs> As you can see, I did like theories and have that Resident Evil 2 playthrough. Probably not gonna do Resident Evil 3, but uh, I might just watch that because I wanna experience stuff, you know? with someone else <laughs> but yeah um the rest of these games here aren't really that important but i mean i'll i'll give you some short stories ooh, ooh, ooh. slippery slippery crap ooh. <laughs> all right i guess you're wondering how i got here right <clears throat> It'll start when I took my freaking games out of here. <laughs> nice little easy box to take down in my new room. <laughs> I guess you want to know I got here. Yeah, I'm down here because I actually have a story with this. <laughs> so, <laughs> Mortal Kombat XL. Every Mortal Kombat I've ever had, I've played it for one night. Beat the crap, we, me and my friend, you know, beat the crap out of each other. And then it just goes right back in there uh, I mean like the story was you know decent and I had some rage you know it, it was fun for a day or two or a week I guess because was like the story took like about a like more than two days but uh, yeah I wasn't with, with like you know multiplayer was I didn't play too much multiplayer same with like injustice and all that I just don't have a good attention span with those games like they just don't really keep me hooked for too long it's like fighter games and all that yeah, I, I also got this game with the Xbox One S here for like my birthday one year. I don't even remember what year it was. <laughs> Which birthday? I think it was like 2016 or something. If, if this even came out then, but yeah, I, I like the Xbox One S a lot. I, I couldn't believe how small this was. Like when I first got it. It, it was so much smaller than my Xbox One. <laughs> I've had this for like so long now that I honestly don't even like remember how I even got that like original Xbox One or like the 360. I remember the 360 a little bit, but yeah, the, the original Xbox One is just like a blur now. Like it, it was, it was really big. I remember that. <laughs> yeah, this is like a lot smaller than that. And um, 
Yeah, I, I, I like the white design. I, I've been wrecking it over the years and this hard drive might like blow out any, any day now, but you know. Don't replace something that those doesn't need fixed, I guess. This is honestly a trash game. <laughs> I don't know if I just didn't know to play this game, but I got it and just the first day I was bored. So, nothing much to talk about here. The graphics were good, I guess. Xbox One X and Anne Stone. I, I like the Assassin's Creed games, like Origins and original Assassin's Creed. I don't remember too much with this, so. I remember that eagle dive, but nothing much else. Just walking through like the Matrix or whatever. Um, my brother gave me this, Evil Within, on one of my birthdays, I think it was 2018. I think I played through most of this game, but I haven't finished it yet, so. I think I know what happens, but yeah, I might give this another try. You know, one of these days. I, I've finished like all of these games basically, but like, yeah, I'm, I'm not like one of those people that just freaking gets games and just doesn't play them, but. Uh, yeah, it's like the only game I really haven't played here. And you know, fours though, but I, I'm pretty sure I was gonna give that back to GameStop and just forgot about it a little bit. So I, I would have given it back. <laughs> Okay, Overwatch. Um, Savannah, my friend I had the Minecraft series with. Um, you know, was uh, for, basically forced me to get this game. I probably, I, I wanted to play it anyway, but she wanted me to play it with her and I came through, I guess. I, I like this game though. Combat, nice teleportation with the Reaper, the main guy. And I'm glad I actually got to experience this because I. I was kind of late to the or the Overwatch train. Like, I, it was like just this year, or like late last year. It's like December 2019 or early this year in like February <laughs> that I actually got this. So I'm like super late, but now I got the best game. Quality. This was like Christmas 2011. Oh my god. Alright. That was a nice little video. I It's 2 a.m. So I'm just gonna clock out now. Just wanted to get something out so that I can upload it. Maybe I'll do one of those things that YouTubers usually do where they upload like a little tour of something and then two years later, you know, they have a even bigger collection <laughs> or something. Um, I, I have even more uh, digital games. You'll probably see most of those because I'll most likely be doing playthroughs like the Doom. I buy like all the dooms, you know, and other things that you probably already have seen. So nothing, nothing I'm hiding really. <laughs> I've, I've played games with myself, obviously, but it's like Dark Siders and so yeah. Hope you guys enjoy this video. Click the like button blue, click the deer, and <clears throat> bye. <laughs>